Thank you for joining me here at Pilates Workouts Online. Today we're using that TRX again for some core work, so just make sure to have your mat laid out below the TRX. Leave in some comments down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more workouts using the TRX. And join me for my on-demand fitness and education at Pilates Workouts Online. Hit the subscribe button and that like button, and let's start moving on the mat. I have my TRX fully lengthened, so it's pulled all the way down and reaching towards the floor. So we're going to start facing um, the anchor point laying on our back. So we're just going to come down on our butt and then take the straps out in front of you. You're going to take your fingertips into those handles. And so as we roll back, I'm going to place my heels into the foot cradles. So my feet are coming up against the handles and I should be able to reach my legs out the straight, pressing down to the straps. From here, I'm going to lay flat with my head on the mat, hands up to the ceiling, Pressing down to the TRX, I'm going to take a deep exhale, lifting up into a crunch, and then inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Think about reaching your fingertips towards the TRX, and also pressing down to the TRX so you feel the back of your thighs start to warm up as you do this ab work. Let's do two more. On that second one, let's hold your lift. And as we hold up, let's pump those arms at your side. So inhale the nose. And deep exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep reaching those arms long. Creasing deeper at the chest line. Keeping the rest of the body nice and still. And feel that pressure down into the T-Rex. Inhale. And deep exhale. Almost there. Keep going. Keep reaching. Let's do two more. And on this last one, let's lower all the way back down. Reaching those hands overhead. I'm going to take those hands back to the ceiling. Crease the chest, and then roll all the way up. So press down the T-Rex as much as you can. Maybe spine chest forward, come back to upright, and then roll your body back down. Reach those hands overhead. So then about pressing down into the T-Rex as you lift, and then take your time nice and slow on the way back down. Focus on the breath. We're gonna do this two more times. Rolling all the way up. And back down, let's do one more. On this next one, as you roll down, let's stay into your crunch position. I'm gonna bend one leg in, and I'm gonna switch and reach, grabbing onto my shin. Inhale, and deep exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Find that breath. Let's do one more time each side. Once we're even, we'll come back through center. I'm gonna bend both legs in, grabbing onto both my shins. Reach both legs out, both arms overhead. Circle the arms around as the legs come back in for our double leg stretch. Reach away and pull back in. Reach it out and back in. Focus on the breath and just take your time as you move here. Let's do two more. And on this last one, I'm gonna reach those legs out. I'm gonna lower my head back down. So make sure your feet, feel like your feet are secure into those loops. Hands at your side. So let's flat back lift with straight legs and lower. Flat back lift, straight legs, and back down. We're gonna do two more. And then on that second one, as we lift the hips, hold the hips lifted, open the legs, close, lower the butt. Lift the butt, open the legs, close the legs, lower the hips. Good, using those outer thighs to help open those legs. Let's do three more. And then after that last one, we'll lower back down, bend the knees, grab onto those bottom cradles with your hands, and we're gonna take those legs up to tabletop. From here, let's lift into a crunch. We're gonna reach both legs out, and then big scissors with those legs. One leg lowers, one leg lifts. Inhale, and deep exhale. One more time to each side. We'll bring those legs back to tabletop. We're gonna open the arms wide, Lift up into our teaser. Roll back down, find your crunch. Reach the legs out, reach the arms to the sides, and then slowly back down. So as those legs go out, reach the arms, press into the T-Rex to help you lift. And if you need to, just hold that tabletop position instead. We're gonna do three more. Good, two. And one more. And then we'll lower back down, find your crunch, reach both legs out, lower the legs, lift the legs. Lower, and lift, three more. 
And then after this next one, let's reach our arms out, come to upright, spine stretch forward, reach forward towards those toes. Take your time as you come back to upright. And as you come to upright, let's face away from the T-Rex, away from the anchor point. Good. So from here, nice diagonal position with the body. Let's open wide for our goal post and then press back up. Open wide like you're doing a push-up. And then press back out. Find the breath. Feel like you're in that nice solid plank position. And if you like, you can always come into a full push-up instead of being on the knees. We're gonna do three more. And one. And then press back up. See if you can press into your toes. Find your full plank. Good. And just hold and breathe. Feel the front and the back of the body working together. Reach both hands to the right, both hands to the left. Still staying about shoulder distance apart and think about just moving through that torso, like you're side bending side to side. Let's do one more time to each side. We'll come back to center and then we'll start to walk our feet forward, reach those hands up to the sky, find a nice stretch through those pecs. Maybe reach those hands back down behind you. Good, walk yourself in. Let's release the TRX straps. Thank you for joining me for this TRX Pilates flow to work your core. If you enjoyed today's workout and you wanna see more workouts using the TRX, leave me some comments down below. And also join me at PilatesWorkoutsOnline.com for more on-demand Pilates fitness and education fun. Hit the subscribe button and that like button and I'll see you guys back here soon.